Hey everyone, how's everyone doing tonight? Let me start our intro here. Um, shout out to everyone in the chat. I want to give people some time to get in here um, because we're going to talk about some stuff. Shout out to our subbies, okay? Um, to our members, to our mods, to our supporters. I wanted to um, show you guys a couple things, and I'm trying to think how to kind of get started here. But let me go ahead and do our intro, and then we will start. Alrighty, alrighty. Let me do some shout outs. We have fun to be blonde here, menacing vibes. The plane is Jane. We have AMK Media, um, Astute Queen B, Troll Farm Buggies here. We have Darlene here. Shout out to you, Darlene. Wendy K. Let's see who else, who else, who else do we have in the house? Wendy K. I want to make sure I don't miss a lot of people. El Padilla is here. Uh, Laurel R is here. Lady Webs. And who else, who else? Sorry, guys, because it's like Trying to get to the chat and everything. KD, Tuan to Inspire TV is in here. Tuan to Inspire TV has a channel, guys. Make sure you guys check her out. Um, very great channel. Yeah, yeah, Kat is in here as well. Giana Papaya is here as well. For Gia, is it Gia? Gaia? Gaia Papaya? Papaya. Can I call you Papaya? <laughs> Anyways, so hmm, let me get started. You guys know we've been following a little bit of of the coverage uh, between Cardi B and Tasha K, uh, what Mr. Uh, Dennis Byron has provided us, right? And 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 we did a live, was it two days ago or a day ago, uh, where we played a little bit of his clips. Um, he's in the courtroom. You know, you have to appreciate the fact that it's not like um, no cameras are allowed in there. So he's doing this a lot through notes, journalism, coming in there uh, and really just giving us a good insight as best as he can, right? Um, because it's it's just so much high coverage now. Now you had Cardi B that was at the stand last time and he gave us that information as far as her testimony and, and, and where she was coming from, okay? Very impactful. <clears throat> but something was said in my chat last, what, when we all met, um, that really intrigued me. Somebody said, to, there was two people that said something, and it's actually in my comments as well. They said, hey, Rabbit, um, did you know that Mr. Uh, Dennis Byron had some history with, with Tasha? Did you know about this? Did you know about this? And I was like, no, I didn't know, especially because he's just kind of coming in there giving us information. Um, someone had also said, well, you know, he sounds a little biased. I'm like, well, why would he, why would he sound a little biased? Is there something more to it? Um, and then someone said, you know, I think they have history. I'm not really sure. So shout out to you guys, because I think that you guys kind of challenge us to, to really sit back and think about, well, what is their history? And as we were doing some digging and actually Mr. Um, Byron actually posted this on his Twitter handle, an article that he wrote in 2019. So I'm going to show you that article, and then I'm going to show you some other receipts and stuff that kind of came up in the process of this, because it kind of gives a little bit of a history as far as um, not only the reporting, but alleged fake pages, alleged threats, threats to life, threats. So so some of this is stemming kind of historic, right? Um, and I'm talking about 2019. You got to think about what was going on in 2019. Um, the Me Too movement. I believe Tasha was reporting on the uh, R. Kelly, uh, you know, and, and Wendy Williams. There was a lot of stuff happening in 2019. That's right. He did go to the lead attorney. That's right. I did watch that. I um, mean, he went in there. And he did an interview. Now, I don't think he went into the specifics as far as like what happened between him and Tasha. There were some allegations, and I'm going to throw this out here right now. Um, thank you for pointing that out, Jane. Um, there were some allegations that uh, Mr. Dennis Byron had, you know, some history of ESX abuse on children. Something to that effect, okay? Um, 
there was something produced or something like that back in 2019. It was posted everywhere. Uh, and it got pretty bad. It got so bad that he, Mr. Byron, had to get a protection order against Tasha. Okay. And that was out um, because of some um, weapon threat. So we got some information on that. We were able to look at it. My hope is is to really bring to light some of this because if we're going to be reporting on a civil matter that has everyone's attention, right? We really want to see, well, what, what what's the history like? And also, um, there's also some, some information about some troll pages that um, were posting, quote unquote, receipts that were fake on Mr. Byron as well. So we got a little screenshot of that. So, I mean, we had to do some digging um, and shout out to someone, an anonymous source that dropped this into our inbox as well, as far as that receipt goes, because I think it's an important receipt to kind of show, um, give different perspectives. Now, I have not reached out to Tasha and, you know, I'm sure that she would be willing to talk about this in her own page um, or not, depending on where she's at with this legal matter. But I think it's important to show both sides. If there's some a little bit of bias in terms of his reporting, well, is it because there's some history there that we might not necessarily be aware of? Now, he's putting this out here for us to know. OK, so on his Twitter page. And this is something that he uh, retweeted just today, about eight or nine hours ago. See, he has a, a media agency and all of his information, all of Mr. Um, Dennis Byron's information is in the description box, as well as all the the, the articles that we're going to be sourcing and the receipts. Um, it's going to be in the description box if you want to look on your own independently review, which is absolutely fine. I get it. Let's look at this article, okay? And we're going to start here because it, it has a lot of detail. Um, when I read it, it, it did seem a little bit one-sided because, well, his staff wrote it. This is his agency. This is his his work, right? So somebody was reporting for him. But it starts with breaking news video blogger Tasha K threatens to kill investigative reporter, judge issues protection order, surrender firearms, exclamation point. Okay. And this was written back in April 9th of 2019. So last week, a Virginia district court judge issued a protection order against video blogger Latasha Transrena Kibi, a.k.a. Tasha K, who operates a YouTube channel, Unwind with Tasha K. According to the report, veteran journalist Dennis Byron was working on an in-depth investigative story involving cyberbullying, and Latasha Kibi, known as Tasha K, was the subject of his reporting. During the course of four of his investigation, Byron interviewed several of her former neighbors. One particular neighbor told Mr. Byron that she was a friend of Tasha K and wouldn't be interested in participating in the story. Other neighbors fully cooperated. Once Ms. Kibi learned that there was an investigative reporter asking questions about her, she concocted a story suggesting Byron's sole purpose of being there was to stalk her daughter. On March 29th, Kibi broadcasted live on her Instagram a false and reckless story telling her 54,000 followers that Mr. Byron came to her old neighborhood a total of three times asking her about her child. According to Mr. Byron, his sole purpose for visiting her old neighborhood was because he was working on a story regarding cyberbullying, and Miss Kiwi was the subject of his investigative reporting. Mr. Byron believed the only reason why Miss Kiwi made up the elaborate story was to garner sympathy from her followers and interfere with his investigation into her online cyberbullying behavior. In another posting by Tasha K, she threatened to shoot Mr. Byron, one to the head and one to the heart if he comes to her home. Mr. Byron viewed this as a direct threat on his life and took appropriate action. On the same day, Mr. Byron received a call from an individual claiming to be the father of Latasha Kibi. The caller stated that he, along with his people, 
would be paying Mr. Byron a visit in Atlanta. When Mr. Byron asked, why would you be paying me a visit? The caller angrily responded that you'll find out once I get there. Mr. Byron took that as a, a direct threat. Mr. Byron has audio recordings supporting that he was only in her old neighborhood for approximately 15 minutes and never asked a single question about her child or any other children. During those false malicious claims, he be directed her Instagram followers to go to Mr. Byron's Instagram page and download images of him to make defamatory posts about him. <sighs> From Mr. Byron's investigation, Kibi has a history of bullying people or her or her various social media platforms for one reason or another. From her various social media platforms. In one particular incident, Kibi called Pennsylvania Hospital pretending to be the cousin of a woman. Now, do you guys remember this story? Because I do. I do remember this infamous Wendy Williams call uh, where he was calling the uh, the other woman. She just just given a birth. Like she just given birth, right? You guys remember that? Uh, Kibi claimed that the new mother was the mistress of a celebrity talk show host, Wendy Williams' husband, Kevin Hunter or Kelvin Hunter. Uh, Kibi broadcasted the legal name of the woman and the hospital location of the newborn in the video more than half a million times. Kibi claimed that she was outing Kevin Hunter for allegedly having an affair with the new mother and fathering the child. Yeah, so if you guys remember that, I do. I think that video is still available. Um, there's some videos that are not available anymore. So it should be noted that state of Pennsylvania is a two-party state where both parties must be told that their call will be recorded. Illegal recording, illegally recording someone without their knowledge is a felony offense. From the video below, that wasn't done. Byron believes that recording alone proves Kibi will go to great lengths to concoct a story just for views, likes, and monetary gain. Kibi has also been accused of unlawfully using images belonging to photographers without their consent, triggering copyright claims on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, while monetizing the illegally obtained photos and videos. So, yeah, it goes into on the R. Kelly story um, in this other paragraph. Of course, some of these videos are no longer available. Um, from this article, it says that they spoke with our source at the GBI, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, who investigates cyberbullying and organized gangs. Our source believes that there may be a nexus to Ms. Kibi, to what Ms. Kibi is doing. According to the investigation, Kibi operates several Instagram pages with the handles Why No Gang, Why No Gang 2, Why No Gang 3, for the sole purpose of having her members stalk, harass, and intimidate the people she is blogging about um, about her infamous YouTube channel on Why Would Tasha K. Because her channel is being monetized, she is imploring others to engage in possible criminal activity. There is a need to be careful and examine Kibi's business practices. Let me stop right here, okay? Because um, number one, I want to be very mindful, right, that whoever's writing this is in his staff, right? So, it's not like it's an independent writer. You know, they're writing it from the perspective of Mr. Dennis Byron's point of view, right? So we have to kind of take that into account. It's his reporting, okay? Um, which to me, I'm like, I get it. You're very much concerned about the way in which these articles are written, the way in which, you know, Tasha K presents herself. And so he tried to kind of find out a little bit more about Tasha as a person in order to do a story, uh, she probably did not like that, right? And so unless there's receipts to show that something else is being amiss, we have to be very careful how we report this, right? And so everything that's said today is alleged, okay? Um, we are only reading from this source. We're going to continue on and read and maybe look at receipts and see how do we weigh this information. It doesn't mean that the, the civil trial is over and we know who's guilty, who's not guilty, how that works, whatever. This is, isn't even about that. This is about an article that Mr. 
Byron has written in 2019 to call some of this out. Okay. All right. So he states that Georgia law, um, giving his readers some education about, you know, criminal gang activity, what that looks like. What is criminal gang activity under Georgia law? He defines it in this article or his staff defines it in his article. Uh, and we keep moving forward. Let's see more and more. Uh, for Mr. Byron's part, he wants Latasha Kibi, Tasha K, to desist, desist from her reckless behavior as she has caused unnecessary stress to him and his family. And he wants her to be held accountable for her actions. When asked what he, what he wanted to see happen to all those that have attacked him on social media, Byron stated no one, especially a professional reporter doing his job should be attacked or intimidated by any individual because they are uncomfortable with the subject of the story. Mr. Byron points out that he doesn't know Kibi personally nor holds any malice for her. As a member of the press, and he is a member of the press, by the way, okay, he has the right and responsibility to thoroughly investigate stories so that the real facts are known and not contributed to fake news reporting. And that I can respect, right? He wants to know the facts. He, he wanted to do a story on Tasha. That seems pretty plausible. Someone can do a story on the rabbit and they have to know the facts. I completely get it, right? We also ask Mr. Byron what role he feels Platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter should play in combating cyberbullying by their members. And he stated, I recognize that there is a fundamental right of the First Amendment as it relates to freedom of speech. But those freedoms don't guarantee an individual the right to bully or harass others for their self-gratification. People have committed suicide and done other horrible things because they have been bullied by people over the Internet. These companies have a responsibility to remove and ban individuals who don't comply with standards that provide a safe environment for all to enjoy. If companies are only concerned with the impact, their bottom line at the expense of others, then the court should be the place to hold these companies and individuals responsible. Drop a rabbit on the chat if you agree with this statement. I, I mean, I, I do agree with it. I, I definitely do. Anybody disagree? Just curious. I don't know. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Instagram has deleted two of Tasha K's pages, the wine or excuse me, the wine blogger lady and unwind with Tasha K for possible harassment, cyberbullying, and copyright claims. Now, um, this is an article from 2019. Right. So so it's dated, guys. It's we're, it's definitely dated. But this is what was written back in 2019 from his agency, from Mr. Dennis Byron's agency, media agency. All of his information is in the description box, as well as the link to this article. On April 4th, Kibi was served with the criminal protective order by the county sheriffs and ordered to have no direct or indirect contact with Mr. Byron or his family members. In addition, she was ordered to surrender any firearms she may have in her possession. Oof. Kibi is also being sued by Cardi B for the defamation, the defamatory statements that she made about her, uh, about her on her infamous YouTube channel. And we have also been told that there are several other lawsuits being filed against her business and her personally. Okay. So again, this was let's look at this 2019 guys april 2019 link is in the description box now i said all right that's one source okay but let's jump to another source let's like like what else do we have out there on the internet because you know like i said i followed tasha k for many many years um you know i will continue to follow because i mean it's she's a big blogger she's a big youtuber right we've had her stop by on our channel and and show us some love which is great uh for me i'm looking at both ends of the scale we kind of have to right uh, i want you guys to put yourselves in that situation think about getting 
and listening to both sides of the story and trying to figure out, okay, is this behavior problematic? Is this part of the business? Is this how YouTube runs? What do we do here? So I'm not going to only just hear Mr. Byron's side. But let's look at other sources. Let's let's see. Let's is there any truth to this? Is it possible that this is just, you know, one story? We might need to look at other things. Let me remove this right here and let me show you guys another screen. Let's see. All righty. Yeah, shout out to everyone that has joined us tonight. You could be doing anything and everything besides being here and you're here with us. So, thank you for being here with us. Um, I wanted to understand the history a little bit more of this um, relationship. What happened between uh, Dennis Byron and Tasha Kay? I wanted to understand. So, so leakyou.com, their information is also in our description box. Okay. Now, this is another blogger. I wouldn't necessarily say this is factual. They're telling us a story about behavior, some things that they have found. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, all right, well, this is also pretty dated, right? But they actually did some like coverage. Um, and some of these links are non-existent, non-existent. So you kind of have to be very careful about where you click, you know, because it's it leads you to nowhere. But there were some articles written by this blogger and they still exist as far as the blogging. They just some of these links are like done. They don't. They don't take you anywhere. But um, they start with Tasha K. Celebrity uh, gossip blogger, YouTube blogger threatens to kill investigative reporter. And the story continues. So this was this uh, threat to harm Mr. Dennis Byron was out there. OK. Um, Leakyou.com reported it. And so from here, we keep going. How this all began, they give us a little timeline. Tasha K issues an Instagram live video in which she rants and raves at Dennis Byron, accused him of copyright striking a video on her YouTube platform. Tasha complained about this whole about this while cursing him out while proceeding to call multiple bloggers sorry ass bloggers and then proceeded to say that she was going to put this same video back up. Tasha K also made the video title for this video means and defamatory Mr. Scamming Dennis Byron, owner of the failing blogs, Hip Hop Inquirer and The Blast. Tasha utilized her Tasha K future podcast home as a platform to bully, to bully, to avoid losing her big channel and money train. Some of these videos are no longer available. Okay. Keeps going. Leak you confirms lawsuit against Latasha Kibi by Cardi and releases the video with receipts during Tasha K live broadcast at night. During the broadcast, uh, after dropping this video, many began to ask Tasha to speak on the lawsuit and she would not, even though she claimed she was going to release a statement concerning the lawsuits against her and Star Marie from Cardi B. OK, videos are not available, guys. All right, so then here it gives more context as far as who is suing who, okay? Going down a little bit further, during the live broadcast, we are releasing the proof, aka receipts, that Cardi B has sued Tasha on Instagram. So again, this is Lee Q um, on that lawsuit. We're going to keep going because I want to show you guys something else. Tasha K with Unwind with Tasha K was trolled in her most recent YouTube video where she claimed to be presenting a Cardi B victim who turned out to be an actor, IG, uh, Jack King actor. My thought on the whole video. Also, no Tasha K did not pay him and no Cardi B did not pay Jack either. It's simply a very successful social experiment that utilizes the fine art of trolling, leak you, and then a bunch of hashtags. Okay, let's see. March 29th, 2019. Leakyou.com published my rebuttal. Of this nonsense, in my opinion, on all the fake stories that Tasha K keeps releasing the public, please take note that her videos are getting millions of views and the lies are astounding. She's making a lot of money. Okay, again, we're going to keep going, guys. This is like a timeline of reporting on several stories. But one thing I wanted us to pay attention to is right here. 
Um, celebrity blogger threatens to shoot reporter Dennis Byron, who, who came to her house regarding a story he is currently working on about her. She proceeded to rant and vent and try her case on social media while sick while sicking her fans on this respected reporter, asking them explicitly to download and share his pictures, which was clearly an attempt to bully. There is no other word for it. Her account should be reviewed. They tag Instagram for malicious and intentional spreading hateful content and requesting others to do so. All right. So it keeps more hashtags. I'm afraid that this woman is completely unhinged. And honestly, I can see why Cardi feels threatened and harassed by Tasha. Now Tasha uh, threatens people, including respected reporters, with guns. This is a very big safety concern. should be taken seriously. We were previously exposed. Tasha K was a troll on her most recent live stream on YouTube while attempting to parade known actor uh, Cardi B as a victim. Okay. Um. After Mr. Dennis Byron responds to Tasha K, Tasha proceeds to make another live video in which she tries to shame him for going on Judge Judy. Okay. Who cares if he went to Judge Judy as it has nothing to do with what has happened or the fact that Tasha threatened to kill him. Tasha proceeded to try to shame him and bring up that has nothing to do with the situation. She then claims she is not the bitch to be fucked with. I beg to differ. This is what leakyou.com is saying. Okay? Timeline 2019. Then they show us that Dennis Byron made up criminal record. Tasha even accused Mr. Byron of having a criminal record. Tasha told the whole world on her platform that Dennis Byron has was a felon and posted it on her social media. Will she now redact? As she stated, she does as this information is wrong. I have no idea what Tasha was looking at, but here is the proof. This video is not available, but we actually got the screenshot of it. So, yep, I'm going to show it to you guys in a minute. Um, Mr. Dennis Byron posts a very intelligent, well thought out message on uh, Hip Hop Inquirer to address the Tasha K situation. All right, so this is his posting. OK, very much dated, but he says journalists aren't bloggers and bloggers aren't journalists. Investigative journalism is a form of journalism in which reporters go in depth to investigate a single story that might uncover co corruption, review government policies or of corporate houses or draws attention to social, economic, political or cultural trends. Vlogging, for example, is a new trend in which some used to tell a story but one has to ask the question what is the agenda of the storyteller who investigative journalism requires the reporter to dig deeply into an issue into a topic of public interest there isn't anything sinister about reporters who have to go out and gather credible information for a story because that is what good journalism is all about one might have to knock on some doors to interview people or use other research tools to get the facts. Ah, uh, this is the nature of the business. And most reporters don't do it for the love of money, but for getting to the truth. Hashtag truth matters, even in the age of social media. Breaking story coming soon. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty well-written response, I would say, right, for for Mr. Uh, for Mr. Dennis Byron. Whew. All right. So for almost a week, nothing else was said on this topic publicly until a breaking news article was released. Okay, so that was the article that I had just read to you guys when we started. Okay. Um, his stance, his research, where he was coming from, why. He, he filed a protection order, okay? After this article was released, Tasha started posting on Twitter, IG, stating that she was going to cancel her YouTube consultations, and, it, and then she released a video titled, Tasha K is fine. New videos dropping this week in which she looked like a hot mess. Okay, that's now that's just public opinion, okay? 
Um, she looks stressed, tired, uh, stress, and more. So again, this is from Leak You. They're saying that she looked like a hot mess. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, that video is still available, though, as you guys can see. Okay. April 10th, 2019. Remember when the article was written? Let's look at that real quick. April 9th, 2019. This is when Mr. Byron's um, staff wrote this article, Dennis Byron's agency. Then we go to April 10th, 2019. At approximately 7 a.m., Tasha proceeded to make both Twitter and Instagram posts with screenshots of criminal records from June 2003. Tasha, okay, I'm still waiting for you to confirm my questions. Have you ever been arrested for stalking, harassment, contempt of court, and a probation violation? I find it hilarious that Tasha K posted this because her fear of her fear of another lawsuit by Dennis Byron, which is exactly what told her he was going to do. So instead of making things right, she goes in harder and posts this ridiculous and not even related post about Mr. Byron. For all we know, she could have doctorate as you cannot trust anything that comes out of her mouth. Now, that's their opinion. That's not my opinion. That is leakyou.com's opinion back in 2019. Whether they've changed their opinion, I don't know. Completely up to them. But they show us a little picture, okay, of what seems to be of a, a record, a criminal record. Background check, I'm not really sure. Charges category, criminal traffic. Classification felony, offense description, sexual battery, four counts, felony. And we would have to look at that case number if it actually exists, right? To determine if that's actually what happened, okay? Um, filed June 6, 2003, sexual battery. Uh, I think that that picture was intentionally placed there. Um, and I can't say for a fact that this is him. We can't say that that is him. Because, I mean, I don't have a DOB. I just have a name. I'd have to look into it. So, it continues. It, during that time, she posts, PSA winos, well, damn, you can't make this shit up. A supposed investigative reporter at Dennis Byron of the website failed of the failed of the website failed website sorry she wrote that twice hip hop inquirer charged with four counts of sexual battery got to love the receipts his entire criminal history is pulled and it gets better i'm just a little old blogger with no more than traffic tickets and this man shows up at my door attempting to get into my info of my family and i wonder why hashtag i said what i said Keep coming, y'all. Can believe this complete, completely made up BS of a story. He's dropping an illusion. I'm dropping facts. Just wait. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. <sighs> then it keeps going. At approximately 11.50 a.m., Tasha seems to call herself a powerful ass blogger because of all the lawsuits and protection orders being filed against her. I do not believe this has anything to do with powerful blogging. Again, this is Leak Use opinion um, and everything to do with Tasha being a cyber bully. Okay. Um, they do show us a little post here that says, I must be one powerful ass blogger. I'm getting so-called lawsuits that ain't I ain't seen now so-called orders of protection against little old me, epic failure epic and flattering excuse me real talk heading to an interview with this guy who's going to help me catch another supposed lawsuit i think many including myself are imploring you to stop these antics but if you don't care we don't care and believe me we all watch the train wreck that is your life oof okay again leakyou.com that information is in the description box check it out um i do not take credit for any of this this is what they pulled including this little thing right here um i don't know where this came from and we can't say that this is exactly dennis byron matter of fact uh his name i don't know if 
I don't know any of this. Okay, I don't know if he takes residence or if he was there. So we have to be very careful when we throw something like this out. The other thing, too, that you guys have to keep in mind, and when this was being alleged, it was in the age of the Me Too, 2019. Again, reminding you, you know, Tasha's reporting on R. Kelly. Tasha's reporting on Wendy Williams. A lot of stories are coming up. Um, there was just so much. So I could definitely see where some of this wouldn't have been questioned, right? And so it makes me wonder then, because Mr. Byron hasn't talked about this specifically, his relationship or feeling towards Tasha as he's going to the court to report what's going on. Okay, now shout out to him, because like I said, I did DM him, he responded, and I do plan to follow up with him to say, hey, do you have any comment on this? Do, do you have any thoughts, anything, any guidance that you want to give us? Because he did release this, he retweeted the 2019 article, I think it's only fair to give more commentary. Okay. I want to show you another clip. I'm not even done, guys. I'm I, I'm almost done, but not even done. Let's see if I can do that right now. Yes, another another receipt that I got to show you. I actually, I got two more receipts. So, if you guys remember, what did leak you say? They said, you know, um, no, definitely. Uh, he's innocent. Well, they actually on their Facebook showed. Look at the date of that receipt, April 11, 2019. We're still on the same date. Here we go. It's actually a video. There's no sound to it. And I'm going to stop it right here because it, this, when you look at it, it doesn't make sense. But what they write on the side here, it says, Dennis Byron is innocent. Tasha K lied about his criminal record. Hashtag receipts. I think many are figuring out that Tasha K lies a lot. Well, we now know for sure 100% that Tasha lied when she told the world that Dennis Byron, who is an investigative reporter, had a criminal record. Tasha also threatened to kill Dennis and even Tasha's Tasha daddy got on the mix. Dennis Byron does not have a criminal record. Hashtag receipts. Okay, so here they're showing us what seems to be a filing. Not guilty. Look at that. The filing of the Georgia courthouse and all that is in there. Let's see. They slow it down for us as well. Not guilty. Verdict. Two counts, three counts, four counts, sexual battery. As to count five, battery. This is from... Now, this is leak you, okay? As you can see, and there's no sound to this clip. It, it is what it is. It's pertaining to Mr. Byron. You see his name, okay? There's the filing, okay? Print sealed. Let's stop right here. All right. I'm going to show you guys another receipt. Now, this one, I need you guys to sit down, okay? Darlene's like, I got more gray hair. <laughs> You know what, though, Darlene? But but again, it's given different perspectives, okay? And and if Tasha wants to clarify, man, I really hope that she does. I know she's a busy lady. She's got this court thing. I completely understand. We have to respect that, right? But I really do hope that this is something that's very much clarified because it needs to be, right? Um, we don't want to have stuff like this out there. I would hope that this is something that she clarifies. However, Somebody dropped me a receipt, okay? A little birdie dropped me a receipt. And if you guys remember the Leak You articles, what did the Leak You articles say? Especially Mr. Byron in his 2019 article. He said that there were so many, okay? There were, there were several Tasha K um, pages that were coming after him and posting things about him that were untrue. OK, I'm just showing you one receipt. I have others, but this is just one receipt. And this, as you can see, it's a posting Tasha K. Haters expose at Mr. Dennis Byron. Is your business even legal? They tag his business was the solve for non-payment back in 2015. I need hashtag or excuse me, um, the real unwind Tasha K. to do a video on this hashtag Tasha K. 
This is a page. Tasha Kay's haters exposed. And then it says, attention, winos, please follow the hater exposed page. Get the, get, what does it say? Get the drop on these haters now. They tag Dennis Byron. You don't pay your bills because you don't pay your bills. And then Mr. Byron responds in the bottom and says, doesn't matter how many fake pages you create, a subpoena goes a long way. Didn't the detective already warn you? Didn't that detective already warn you? There's a response from that page. Now, we don't know if this is Tasha. Again, these pages, we anybody can create a fan page. Anybody can create pages. Um, we don't know. So we can't, we have to say allege, right? Um, and we'll stick to, to our guns with that. But the response on the bottom says, Mr. Dennis Byron, create. The only thing that was this created was this fraudulent concoction, get rich quick scheme you came up with. No finance. Another fail, another failed business venture off hashtag Tasha K. Who does not run this page, by the way, so I can say what I want. If you sue me, send the subpoena to P.O. Box. Fuck you. Anywhere USA. Hashtag drink up loser. As if that, that <laughs> oh my God, that response, that response. The only thing that was, and I'm trying to read it slow because I feel like I'm going to miss something. The only thing that was this created was this fraudulent concoction, get rich quick scheme you came up with to finance another failed business venture off. Tasha K, who does not run this page, by the way, so I can say what I want. If you sue me, send the subpoena to P.O. Box, fuck you, anywhere USA.com. That was the response to Mr. Byron. Yes, yes, F you, P.O. Box. I'm like, this is horrible. This is this is a horrible thing. So so these pages were exposing Mr. Byron's business. They were looking up his alleged criminal history. They were saying he had a criminal history, guys. They were alleging a lot of things. Um, and from Mr. Byron's perspective or side was I was just interviewing neighbors. Right? That's that, that that was what he was doing when he was looking in. So I really, really hope in dropping this information, I'm not done. I'm not done. I promise you. I'm still looking a little bit more into it. There's some other receipts I got to review. Um, my hope is to <laughs> um, reach out to Mr. Byron and see if he's got any commentary about this situation here, uh, what his thoughts are, um, maybe even his feelings about covering the civil matter, given that this is the history that he has with Tasha, okay? Um, if he has any comment in the matter, I, I would think that that would be like, I did, we didn't know this was this deep. At least I didn't remember it being this deep. And I've been following Tasha, I don't know, for years, since 2015, I think. Um, so I, I'm just kind of curious to know, well, what, what are his thoughts? Where is his head at? And if he's listening, you know, that that's... Rightfully so. I think our subscribers want to know where you're at and how you're feeling. Um, and yeah, yeah, the receipts come a long way. So I really want to thank you guys um, that are in the chat that kind of followed us as we were telling, because this is really a story to tell, right? There's so many moving parts to this. So many moving parts. <laughs> Darlene says, we know Tasha got a mouth rabbit. You not done. <laughs> I know I'm not done. I'm not done. And respectfully, I really hope that Tasha, you know, I have no, um, what is it, fight in this game or anything. I just wanted, I wanted to understand when there was two people that were probing me to look at something and then people are dropping receipts. I'm like, oh, shoot. Oh, shit. I can't ignore it. I can't. We got to come with it or don't come with it at all. Right. That's just my thought. And we have to do it on bias. And we got to give you guys a good history. So Mr. Um, Dennis Byron, he did interview with the lead attorney. 
Okay, so check out the lead attorney as well, because he did he did pretty well there. He kind of gave some perspective in the trial. But what I want to know is the story behind all that. Why Tasha? Why Tasha? Yes, thank you, Jane. Yes, I am a little focused today. And no coffee, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I did some cleaning, because so I feel pretty proud of myself right now. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Um, I need counseling. <laughs> Shout out to our members, our new subscribers, uh, our mods who help us in this channel. Shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to everyone. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week because I am out. to inspire tv gave us a super chat we got to do some rabbit shaking i know everybody's gone but tawana this is for you sorry about that it came right in our ending <laughs> see what happens when you give us a super chat at the very end thank you so much for your super chat but this is for you i couldn't just leave like that thank you All right, guys, I'm out. You guys have a great rest of your night.